Hey guys, we're sticking around in here with the fifth part of this Frogle Game Kit version 2 and the MP system version 2 integration. In this one, we're going to be looking into our left and right hand location so that uh, when we have a, a, an attachment such as a red dot site, it will adjust the location. So you'll notice that the location will adjust. Look, and the thing is like removing the, uh, the um, crosshair when we aim but for now this is what we're going to have set up and i'll also show you how to set up the left and right hand locations when you aren't aren't damed and i'll show you how to set up for the sights and i'll also show you how to set it up for melee weapons so you'll notice that my hand is slightly in the screen a little more so we'll be able to adjust our location like that so without further ado we will get into setting this up all right so i did it in the test in the main project that i was using i just realized that but that's okay because everything is basically the same in this project and there shouldn't be any differences because everything in here that we do is completely new so this is my other project that's just at the same stage that you are. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our master holdable. And in here First thing I'm going to do is select my left and right hand transforms and turn off the expose. And I'm going to drag them up to the do not edit category because we're going to create default values and these values will just be adjusted by the default value in here in the weapon or the sites value. But this one won't, won't be manipulated by us specifically, for example. So you have that done, we want to create our default left and transform. Just gonna switch these around so they're in the same order as the ones above. Doesn't really matter, but so I'm going to do it. So now I will default. I'm going to expose these two. And now we are going to open up our attachment, master attachment. So we're going to set up our right and left hand transform variables in here that we can set. And these are for the sites. You can name these site right hand transform and site left hand transform. But this will be fine for me. So now we have these variables created in here and expose these on spawn. I mean, instance editable. You just click in the eye, it'll automatically take this for you. And we are going to go into our master weapons. We can just go to our master hold and browse to that. And then we'll get to our master weapon, which is right here. And the reason we're using our weapon is because our melee weapons and our range weapons are both children of that, so that we can actually adjust the variables for our melee weapons as well. So, so in here, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a function called hand transforms and this is going to be used to um, automatically set our transforms if we are or aren't holding a site so we want to right click 
git weapon inventory. We want to get a convert to a valid git. So it'll check if its that weapon inventory is valid or not. And if it's not valid, it won't run through this specific branch of the code. We want to create a branch. And then we will select attachment item. This will allow us to determine which item we're getting. And I want to check this is valid in here. So if our weapon inventory has the attachment, And we're going to right click here and break. And this will give us access to our specific attachment. We can actually just close these and we'll actually just close out all the ones we don't need. So we get the site attachment is valid. So we have an weapon inventory and the attachment, which means that it's the weapon is valid. Check what's in the inventory. Now we'll check it's attached. And if it is valid, we're going to right click and set our right hand transform. And we're going to set that to the right hand transform from our attachment. Drag out again. And we'll set our left hand transform. Make sure we're not setting our default values. Setting the do not edit ones. But we are master holdable. Alright, get the left hand transform from our attachment. Plug that in. So whatever value is set in each individual attachment will be set there. And I'm going to drag out of here. Or actually, I'll just copy these two. Control C and Control V. Hold Control and click them to get both those specifically. Now we have these, and we're going to set these to our defaults. Right hand. And a default left hand. Now we'll just set it to the values that are defaulted in our weapon, not and not our site. And this is the value that can be sent. That's the do not edit value that's sent to the animation blueprint. So that will allow you to adjust it when you adjust the animation specifically when you don't have a site attached rather than just going to zero. Now we want to go to our 
and graph, I believe. Right click, create a tick event. I'm just going to run the transform node there like that. Now I should have a default value of set. And we pick up a stock, we should be able to set a value there, but I don't think I actually set one, so I don't think it's going to actually do anything. Other than adjust the field of view that you can notice. So to do that, first we're going to go to our attachments. And I'm just going to set some values for my transform nodes here. Minus seven. At the moment, our left hand is following. I believe that's due to the fabric node. But we'll fix that so we can set our left hand specifically. So now we have this set there, default. And you notice the gun location adjusted. Um, I'm going to go to my M4, and I'm actually just going to put my M4 mesh back into place, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the location and everything properly for a weapon that's not defaulted as the SMG. So we have this, that's what we have by default. And if we pick up a site, throw that on, and let us see. Location changes, and we take it off. The location should be adjusting. Look into that quickly. And yeah, I quickly just found the problem with that. So you want to go into your master weapon and your hand transforms. Make sure they have the false here connected. And weapon inventory here connected. I believe it's everything there. And now I'm just going to test this out. Here we go, it's adjusting the location as we take on and off our site. We'll deal with the uh, crosshair when aiming and stuff later on. For now, I'm just going to look at our location for our M4. This will be showing you how to set up a weapon that isn't specifically the SMG. So I'm just going to set this. I'll do a little bit of testing. Never took too much, I guess. I believe that's all we actually need to do there. You can make your own adjustments as well. And there's the unnamed M4. And... Let's put a site on it, drop it down. Your sights in line of view. You can adjust that. And because we set things up the way we did in our weapon, we can actually adjust our weapon, melee weapons location. So right now we have it right here, and it's kind of off the screen, and it's not the best view for first person. So I'm going to browse my master weapon for my axe. For an example, we have our locations right here. And 
negative 15, which will... Go over here. You'll notice that the weapon is now in the screen a little better. And just checking my notes. I believe that's everything I was going to show you in this one. But basically, you can suggest your own weapons now. Um, there's still some more things we're going to do. Like We're going to look into the jump. And uh, a few other things here and there. It's just one I wanted to get out of the way because some somebody mentioned in one of the comments I looked into it and I just and then I did realize that the sights weren't being adjusted properly. If you found this video helpful and want to see more don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future tutorial uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments Feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join our Discord community using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.